I'm Laurie Thomas from the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the Schumard Oak. Quercus schumardii is a member of the red oak group and one of the largest southern red oaks. Other common names are spotted oak, schneck oak, schumard red oak, southern red oak, and swamp red oak. Schumard oak is a moderately fast-growing tree and relatively long-lived, living 200 to 400 years. It is a large tree that attains heights of 100 to 125 feet and up to 4 to 5 feet in diameter. Trees typically have a long, straight trunk and a wide-spreading open crown, and it can be confused with northern red oak and scarlet oak. Schumard oak makes a large, handsome shade tree in the appropriate urban setting. The wood is considered superior to many other red oaks, but is generally mixed and sold with other red oaks. The acorns are also an important wildlife food. Schumard oak is found from North Carolina to northern Florida and west to central Texas, and up into southern Illinois, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. In Kentucky, it's found across the state except for the far eastern portion. It is a scattered tree and not found in pure stands. It grows in a number of soil types, but is generally considered a bottomland tree that grows in well-drained, loamy soils. It is considered shade intolerant. At maturity, Schumard oak appears to have some allelopathic properties as it seems to exclude the growth of competing understory vegetation. Schumard oak is deciduous with simple, alternately arranged leaves, as you can see in the photo in the top left. The leaves are four to seven inches long and usually with five to nine lobes that each have a bristle tip. The sinuses between the lobes extend more than halfway to the midrib. They are shiny dark green above and pale green below. And fall color is usually an attractive red to burgundy. As with other oaks, Schumard oak is monoecious, meaning a tree produces both male and female flowers. The male flowers are on long hanging catkins that are clustered together, and the female flowers are either single or paired in short stalks. The flowers appear between March and April, and usually with or just before the leaves, and the flowers are wind pollinated. The fruit is an acorn that is single or paired. It's egg shaped and about three fourths to one and a quarter inch long. The acorn cap is bowl shaped with slightly fuzzy scales. The cap covers a little less than a third of the acorn. The acorn ripens in the fall during September or October of its second year. The acorns are dispersed by wind and seed hoarding wildlife such as squirrels and will germinate the following spring. Schumard oak begins seed production around age 25 with optimum seed production around 50 years. Trees produce good seed crops between two and three years. The bark is gray-brown and as the tree grows, it develops dark, deep furrows with light gray, scaly ridge tops. Schumard oak wood is hard, strong, and heavy, and while it is mechanically superior to other red oak wood, it is marketed as red oak and not distinguished commercially from other red oak species. The heartwood is light to medium brown, commonly with a reddish cast, and the sapwood is white to light brown. It is ring pores with two to four rows of large early wood pores, and those are the pores that are formed in the spring, and you can see those in the photo, with numerous small late wood pores, and those are the pores formed in later in the summer, and the growth rings are distinct. The pores are so large and open that it's said that a person can blow into one end of the wood and the air will come out of the other end, provided that the grain runs straight enough. It is rated as non-durable to perishable with poor insect resistance. In general, red oak wood does not have the level of decay and rot resistance that white oak possesses. Oaks are listed as one of the top 10 trees for wildlife, according to the National Wildlife Federation. They are the larval host for more than 500 different Lepidopteran species, including the imperial moth, the banded hair streak, and the dusky wing and the acorns of the Schumard oak serve as mast for numerous species of birds and mammals, including white-tailed deer and fox squirrel, as well as numerous birds, including some wild turkey, waterfowl, and songbirds. Additionally, the trees provide cover as oaks commonly retain some of their leaves late into the fall. Red oak wood is arguably the most popular hardwood in the United States. It is hard, strong, and moderately priced, and it's used in cabinetry, furniture making, interior trim, flooring, and veneer. Schumard oak is also planted as a large ornamental in parks and large yards.
The national champion, Schumard Oak, as of 2021, is in Powell County, Kentucky. The tree is 117 feet tall with a 313-inch circumference and a 105-foot crown spread. And if you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest National Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about Schumard Oak. The acorns of the Schumard Oak are edible once the tannins are boiled out. If the tannins are not boiled out, the acorns can have a low toxicity. Schumard Oak can be confused with Northern Red Oak. Schumard Oak typically has five to nine lobes, a shiny surface, and sinuses that extend more than halfway to the midrib, whereas Northern Red Oak typically has seven to 11 lobes and a much duller surface, and the sinuses only extend about one third or maybe halfway to the midrib. Schumard Oak is named after a Texas geologist named Benjamin Franklin Schumard. The scientific name Quercus is Latin for oak, and the species name Schumardii is in honor of Benjamin Franklin Schumard. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodlands, a local park or neighborhood, and see this wonderful red oak.